Hello America, how's it going? Me again, here to annoy. That's what I like to do. You know, I was pondering a train of thought, and I know this seems like it's overwhelming and monstrous, because uh, I was thinking the same thing. Uh, how would we go about it? Big plans like these take money, and we're all broke, right? Right. But I want to say this. America requires a new Continental Congress. Yeah, we, we need a new Continental Congress to work in some kind of conjunction with uh, uh, open press and letting people know what's going on in the real House of Representatives, the one that we choose, and the real Senate. And maybe when Americans start to show up for voting every two years in conjunction with every two years of your own, we'll see who they're really voting for. Because, uh, you know, every major league has a little league or, a, mi or a, a minor league team somewhere, some farm team out somewhere. And, uh, you know, America, we should probably start looking into this option. Uh, and I know it's a monstrous task, uh, picking out two delegates. So I have a thought, I have an idea. When I, you know, the first couple, we're not going to have um, the literal uh, selection. We're going to have just a, I, I guess, just a big old bingo wheel we can crank out and and kick out whatever numbers you're going to be winning. And uh, if you win the numbers, hey, you're, you're representative number one and you're representative number two. And uh, we, we don't necessarily need to have a House and a Senate uh, right away. Uh, we can have uh, just the one House, two representatives from each state with knowledge of their own state to come about and listen to some of the issues that are on the floor of the Congress, some of the issues that are on the floor of the House, and some of the things that lay before the people and some of the things that lay before you. As a newly, sadly appointed body, we shall hold a raffle for each state. Two winners. Two. Um, no less than three and no more than five volunteer constitutional scholars because we have no money. So you'll have to volunteer. Of course, we'd need someone with money to help us rent a hall, buy some airline tickets, bring us all together as American people. And I'm not talking about uh, representatives uh, or politicians. I'm talking about just two average Joes, maybe two retired guys who, who have uh, you know time on their hands and political thought. Uh, those those are who our congressmen were supposed to be, not the um, the plantation owners, the multi-billionaires. I mean, remember when Forbes ran? Everybody knew he was a, he you know he wasn't going to win. I like some of the stuff he had to say, but, you know, Forbes seemed a little creepy. But, um, you know, we need that kind of cash to back this thing up. Uh, the appointment of a speaker by majority voting, the good old-fashioned way, majority party rules, uh, where voting may still count. The ultimate goal would be to follow the rules of the Constitution, uh, just to sort of lay a groundwork. Uh, for what are now our representatives and to give sort of a minor league opportunity to other people who could be pondering going into political life. And of course then you'll end up with the millionaires and the billionaires in there uh, whining and dining them trying to corrupt them. But your duty is first to your constitution and the people therein. And uh, you gotta keep that in mind. And the only way we'll break this wheel of corruption is to start a new wheel of honesty. We'll have to create policies, uh, ultimate goals of, of creating whether or not we can create the orders of impeachment for a national petition, using two members of each state to review the information, to look it over. I think that'd be a fair way. I wouldn't enter the lottery, but I would, uh, I would well, I might. I might. Uh, the groundwork for the new Continental Army, uh, point of order for impeachment, and really finally for voting on health care issues to see if a, a group of congressmen uh, who represent each state can come about with some options. Uh, insurance, you know, uh, I was a little giddy uh, inside and, and this isn't meant to be a victimizing thing. This was simply for the insurance companies and this is going to sound wrong. Uh, you know, after, after they announced the insurance companies to pay out for September 11th, uh, I thought to myself, wow, that's got to be a lot of money. That has just got to be a lot of money. And, and 
I bet that kind of equity would just crush every major insurance company in this country. Every every one of them would just go to zero. And what happened? They did uh, they did some uh, money calls, some cash draws, and the American people kicked in money, and these insurance companies survived to steal from you once again. Um, the Investigative Commission for Removing American-Based Corporations that have more than 80% of their jobs overseas. An investigative commission of removing American-based corporations that have more than 80% of their jobs overseas. And not giving them tax breaks, telling them, hey, if you don't want to bring at least 60% of those jobs back, because the only real jobs they're keeping here are corporate-level jobs. That's it. Corporate-level jobs because they want to live the great life in America while the rest of America goes broke to outsource jobs. Uh, my actual point of finale would be to show whether or not the members of Congress are following the guidelines of the Constitution, and somehow I am willing to think, um, no. Here in Colorado, it has been announced that electronic voting machines have been given a vote of no confidence, and a paper ballot initiative has been decided and will happen. I'm going to be voting, because like I said, why cast my vote when someone's already stolen it before the machine came to the state? I am seeking statesmen, women, and men who seek peace, freedom, and a national republic. Must be your name. Must be able to show ID.